<laughs> Looks like I'm live. There you go. So, um, welcome to Bugdom. This is a uh, 1999 Mac game that was ported to Windows, and this is the Windows version. So, uh, I had it, it took me four days to figure out how to set up how to set it up on these PCs, and uh, I figured out that I can use a FPS shenanigans. So, I, I, we're gonna have some fun. So, uh, very very shortly, I'm gonna introduce uh, that this game basically uh, you can uh, walk or run. Roll, kick, and jump. And um, rolling is based on FPS, the speed. And what that means is by running at 150 FPS, we're going to get insane, uncontrollable speed. And we're going to use that to go fast. But on two levels, we will go at 60. I'm going to reset for this first trick until I get it, because it's 9 seconds. But if I don't get it a few times, I'm going to continue. So I'm ready to go. And at... Three, two, one, go. So, right now I'm at 60 FPS. This is the very precise roll that <laughs> should have worked. Oh, almost perfect. Okay, I'm gonna uncap the FPS and clip. So, normally I would land inside. That's level one. But also, already done. So, from now on, we're gonna be at 150 FPS because it makes rolling faster and clipping easier. There you go. Super easy. You just go through. <laughs> and come on. This one gives me trouble sometimes. So this is why I have a, a very high estimate. This is an eight minute game. But sometimes the clips just don't want to cooperate. There you go. We're through. Level two is done. We're going to like breeze through the first few levels. And the last ones are going to be very tough. So level three, we have a change. From the lawn, we're going to the pond. And, of course, we have some out of bounds here, because why not? Just need to find it. Come on. Come on. There you go. Good boy. And up. <laughs> so, um, I, I mentioned that rolling is fast. And um, I need to wait for the camera to catch up, because I don't know where I am. There you go. I'm going to clip and bounce. Another trick that sometimes... There you go. Level 3 is done. And... This is a new trick that I found recently, and it saves like 30 seconds. And on 60 FPS, it can take uh, up to like two minutes because it's just extremely inconsistent. But since at 150 FPS, your position gets checked more by the game, it's much easier to find the specific position and direction to move into to clip through the wall. There you go. Much, much easier at 150 FPS. So now I'm going to go intentionally slow because... I, I really need to know where I'm going. But fortunately, there you go, yeah. Fortunately, uh, ending or starting a roll will um, re completely stop my horizontal speed. So I'm able to control that very easily. There's an enemy here that didn't spawn, very nice. So here, I'm gonna cap the FPS to 60 again, because the, the speed at which I steer this dragonfly depends on FPS. Now, if I shoot too fast, the game crashed. So <laughs> that was exactly what I was talking about. So let me go back. Okay. Fortunately, we have levels. We have saves. But if you load a save, you have either zero health or zero rolling power or a combination of the two. So I'm just going to have to deal with it. That was a B. Okay. So if I shoot too fast, the, the game crashes because it doesn't have enough projectiles to spawn. Oh, please don't lose the firefly. Oh god, this is this is, Oh my god. Yeah, I lost the firefly. I need to get another one. This is terrible. And I don't have real power. Oh come on. Run 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 run. I'm one hit away from finishing the level. <laughs> this is amazing. And there you go. Okay. So at 150 FPS you see her like this. <laughs> so level six. I'm not sure how much FPS I am at. Oh, heck. So, level 6, this has no glitches. There are no skips in this uh, level, so this is a third of the total run. So, I'm gonna quickly introduce the level and then we have some time for donations. Because this is three minutes long. You can see this. Oh, where the hell did I go? Oh god. <laughs> this has never happened before. <laughs> I clipped through the wall before it could load. 
But anyway, uh, as I was saying, um, totally intended. And um, so here we are in the beehive. There you go. That's what I wanted. And this honey is acts like water in the pond, but it's supposed to input lock you and instantly kill you. But on the first frame you touch the honey, you can jump off. And the game is coded in such a way that it will queue inputs forever. So if you press jump, it will queue it forever, even for like a year until it can jump, and then it will jump. So I can just spam the jump button and jump. Now, uh, we have like a uh, time for like, uh, I could say like four donations while I go through. Oh, well, that's exactly what I have. Nice. Uh, I have a $10 donation from Dajim saying, Hey, Jeter, good luck with your Bugdom run. And remember Thanks. that there is no boundaries for what you can do. Not at all. <laughs> we got a $5 donation from Zik3 oh. saying, Jeter, I'm so proud of you for running Bugdom at ESA. Good <laughs> luck, friend. Thank you, thank you. We've got a $10 donation from oh, Sylvia... Sylvia... Uh, Sil She's Sylvia A. a. Weich. Mm-hmm. Uh, Sylvia A. I. <laughs> <laughs> Sylvia. Sil Sylvia. Uh, saying, Rolly McFly, I love you. <laughs> the Rolly McFly is the main character. But do and uh, finally, a $5 donation from Jumba911 saying, Had to donate during Bogdom was my first game I ever played on PC during elementary school on the Macintosh. Same. Thank you Same. so much for running this game. I love you all. <laughs> you are welcome. This game is so good. And so I died and had to go back to a previous save, which is awful. Uh, uh, yeah, we're just going to have to go back through. And we're almost there. So this, this is why I have a 20-minute estimate, because this run can go south in like a bazillion ways. So uh, this level here is one of the scariest because of the honey. And if you miss one input, you die. And the problem here is that if I hold two directional inputs at once, like in most pairs of directional inputs at once, it will ignore my jump inputs. That's just how the game is made. So if I hold up and right at the same time and I press jump, the, the input is ignored. And that's what happened before. I jumped and uh, the game didn't register the, the input. So now I get a, re, a refill of my rolling power because the rolling power is limited. And I can just go. Didn't get the boost, but it's fine. Oh boy, that is damage. So that damage is gonna matter quite a lot. So I'm gonna try and get this strawberry. There you go. You can see the speed of the roll is interesting. There you go, perfect. So blowing up some bombs to open some doors getting uh, some sick dodges on the on the projectiles dodging the larvae and um, we're almost through level six that was not a very good roll but it's fine uh, I mean, I'm, I'm getting this checkpoint oh you don't know I'm gonna die here for sure probably not but anyway so uh, now that we're basically done with the beehive, uh, the next is a boss fight, and yes, this game does have boss fights. The um, level seven is a the queen of the bees. Very unsurprising, and uh, she is probably the worst level in the run. And uh, thanks to 150 FPS, it's much easier. So you have to hit her. You cannot kick her. So this game has a kick move, and you cannot kick her. You have to roll into her. Also, the, the textures just got messed up, so you, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> this just happens sometimes. So you have to roll into her and have enough speed to register as a hit. Oh, this is awful. Uh, and on 150 FPS, since you go that much faster, please hit her. Okay. You go that much faster, it's much easier to build the speed. But these bubbles, they spawn enemies and they slow me down so much that I cannot hear her as long as I'm inside the bubbles. All right. This is terrible. But hopefully, hopefully we get through. There you go. Queen is dead. So we're, we're past the scariest level, honestly. Now, level eight is the night. It's my personal favorite. The, the music is great. The textures are back, so that's great. 
I'm going to try to clip. There you go. I'm intentionally going very slow with the, like, that's, that's very slow because it goes much faster if you let it. And I'm going to try, at least, if I have a good camera, there you go, to clip through. And these ants deal a lot of damage. I don't need a key for this. Oh boy. Leave me alone, thanks. Because there's just a downward slope and I can go through. So that's level 8. Now level 9, there's an insane strat that I'm not going to go for because I have no lives. But uh, So y when you jump, when you touch the ground, you get your jump back. But if you touch the ceiling, that counts as well. So you get your jump back. And yeah, that's uh, kind of a sequence break. Very minor sequence break, I would say. You only skip every every puzzle in this game. So, lava. You can jump on lava just like honey. So I have to be careful here not to drop inputs. And... Oh boy. There you go. Not getting to the checkpoint because I am no scaredy cat. And we are through. I almost died. But no one saw that. So, another ceiling refresh. That, that fire there is instant kill. Uh, and by the way, just to let you, let you know the controls, I jump with alt, I kick with control, I roll with spacebar, and I change the camera with uh, comma and dot. So, just wanted to let you know how bad this is. So, I'm hopefully not going to die. Two. Three. This is actually hard. And four. And then one hit and I'm dead. So I need to be very careful. Two. Three. Four. Water. One. Two. Three. Four. Water. That's the final boss. And time. That was a pretty good run. I died like I had a terrible death. And now we get to enjoy the cutscene, hopefully with good textures. There you go. Where you're the king. You're the new king. You uh, kind of saved the ladybugs that we ignored. And uh, you imprisoned the king Thorax. This is what he's supposed to look like if the textures are not broken. And you get this very satisfying ending. And after this, I'm just quickly going to show you the... Um, the cutscene you get if you die, which is similar. So I'm going to put in my name. Got a high score. Nice. And um, so if you if you die or if you reset, uh, let me actually relaunch the game so I get good textures. Can I read a couple donations real quick? Just one second. It's very, very quick. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so if you end the game, you get this cutscene where King Thorax is very awkwardly sitting on a wooden chair looking at you with those uh, very aggressive fire textures that get on top of everything else. And uh, the fire ants are looking at you and you're in there surrounded by lava. So that's the, the game over cutscene. So you can read like uh, a couple donations and I'm gonna do like my final thoughts. All right, so we've got a $5 donation from SA Lock saying shout outs to Big John. Go represent NC in the EU. Much love to Steam Goons. And we've got another $10 donation by Sylvia. <laughs> this time I got it right. Saying Sylvie Smug, Jitain Smug. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those are our emotes. So, um, my final shout outs I want to shout out the Bugdom community. So, I'm going to list their names. Me. And, uh,. So this game has kind of a, of a very weird rule that we get one runner every 10 years. Uh, the game came out in 1999, and there was one person who did like two runs, I think, in 2009. And then I picked it up in 2019. So the next runner is going to be in 2029. So look forward to ESA 2029 Bugdom. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, shout outs to Petri, which is the other runner from 2009. Haven't heard from them, but if you're watching, Let's have a talk about Bugdom. And uh, <laughs> shoutouts to Bugdom 2 for existing. Um, and um, yeah. And uh, stick around for the next run. 
uh, HH Greg's uh, quest for coupons. It's amazing. I get I got to play Kainal as a friend of mine from the Katana Zero community. I got to play a bit, and it's amazing. So look forward to that, and thank you for having me. <laughs>